Hey YouTubers, this is Tall Messenger here, showing you how to mod Halo 3 maps with a USB flash drive. This part 1 video of mine covers the USB flash drive format for the Xbox 360. The flash drive that you need to do so, uh, it could be any size, as long as it's a flash drive and it goes on the Xbox 360 USB port. For example, the USB flash drive that I have is shown on the video. It looks like the same one that I have. It has 8 gigabytes and able to fit in the Xbox USB port. The price of the flash drive depends on what size it is, like for mine, 8 gigabyte flash drive, um, I think it costs like $20 for mine. It depends if you look at Amazon or something. Once you got yourself a flash drive, put in the USB port on your 360. Once you got it in the port, uh, you go to Xbox setting and look for memory just to see if it says memory unit. And the picture of it shows a flash drive or a stick or something. Once you're in there, you have to format your flash drive into a SBOS format. To do so, it either says format or customize. To mod the Halo 3 maps, you need to customize your flash drive. Why, you ask? Well, because you have to put your flashlight on the computer soon and it will turn the flash drive into the computer format unless you have to leave some memory storage because that way your data will not be gone and your flash drive will not be formatted to a computer format. Before customizing it, uh, you have to make sure there's no f data or files like video, pictures, anything that is on the flash drive. You have to remove everything off of it to customize it. Or you could just make it deleted by the Xbox. When customizing it, you have to restore storage to your flash drive. For me, I just put half of my USB, like for mine, I just put 3.8 for half of mine, just to save storage. It takes a while for it to finish up with the flash drive. There you have it, you just format your flash drive into a SBOS format. With that, you're now able to transfer SBOS files like Halo 3 maps. Now we're done with part 1 of this video. Part 2 and part 3 are going to be uploaded after this, which I'm going to put the links for the descriptions on my video info. Part 2 covers the programs that you need and it covers the file transferring to your computer. And part 3 covers what you have to do on the program and we're going to test the mod on part 3 too. I hope this part 1 of my video will help you mod Halo 3 easier. Part 2 and part 3 are almost finished so hold on guys. This is one part of my tutorial and I hope you watched the other two. See ya guys.